Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring as we continue our exploration of Limgrave. We are on the coast currently and this cave here on the edge of the water has an uh, interesting resident uh, that I'm anxious to learn the story of. Uh, he looks like either the same species as or is perhaps Bach. Uh, some manner of creature uh, who was hiding uh, as as a bush or, or got turned into a bush or a tree or something and now we're here uh, he's living in fear of something further in the cave that supposedly comes out and does very uh, unkind things to him let's see if we can get a little bit more information oh what are you doing here Okay, he didn't really have anything new to say from last time. Let's take a look. Be wary of strong foe, huh? I am quite wary. Uh, try target lock and then praise the message. Okay, so this is something where we don't want to rush in, perhaps, right? Uh, okay. That's good, I think. Now there is there's a, is that a hole there in the middle of the ground? Um, you know what we'll do here. I'm not sure what's going on exactly. Why don't we throw on a torch? Real quick. Huh. That was strange. That enemy didn't appear to be especially strong, so I'm wondering what the point of that was. You know what? Let's let's be smart about this. Let's switch this torch to our offhand. There we go. Something like that. First off, right. Okay. Try target lock again. All right. I mean, yeah, I see them. Okay. Again, so far, so good. Maybe these guys do especially bad things to you if they catch you. I don't know. Or maybe... Defeating one by one required ahead, okay. Or perhaps if you try to come here too early, um, then things are a lot tougher. I don't know, because this is pretty close to the starting area, right? So I guess that would make sense. Yeah, why don't you come over? else yeah I mean oh I thought I was gonna be able to get a backstab on I mean I could see you know like if you were not using target lock how these guys could be a little bit tough if that was not something that you were used to doing then that would obviously be a much tougher battle I need to get used to... There we go. Switching things around better. Uh, what do we have here? No warrior ahead. Okay. Yeah, nothing nothing too overly tough, I have to say. Land octopus ovary? <laughs> now, that's a brand new sentence. In my opinion. Praise the knight, but be wary of pack. Oh. Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay, well, there's plenty of light in here, so we don't need that torch. Try defeating one by one. Okay, I mean, again... There's, they're, like... 
Maybe I'm just over leveled for this. Oh. Oh. Okay, never mind. Now, will they continue to summon, I wonder? Okay, there's two of them. Whoa. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, I'm out of stamina. Alright, that's one of them down. There's another one of them somewhere. Uh, should we go ahead and top off our health? Yeah, probably. We'll do it. We'll do that. Uh, where's the other one? M music is so frantic. I'm like, I don't know where they are. <laughs> uh, okay. Probably up at that other uh, bonfire head or what have you. Well, we've got time to collect silver fireflies. That's nice. Oh, yeah, they're up there. I see. Out of arrows. Uh oh, out of swords. Uh oh. Oh no. Get out of there. Oh no, my stamina management is very poor right now. Oh no, where am I? No, are you kidding me? You know what, my, my, that's embarrassing. My issue was that I went into those uh, bushes where I couldn't see where I, I kind of lost track of where exactly I was. Well, that's dumb. I'm dumb. This game is dumb. I'm, I'm done. I quit. <laughs> Just kidding. This is fine. Ah, uh, brother. I got stuck on the wall. God. Ugh. And I lost a thousand uh, souls, didn't I? Yep. All right. Things are starting off in a very non-ideal fashion for me. This is n this shouldn't be this hard, man. Come on. Embarrassing. Embarrassing for me. Well, perhaps we need to be humbled. Do I backstab? Not really. Whatever, whatever. Hey, at least we get more uh, fireflies, huh? That's pretty sick. All right, we're gonna have to just aggro these guys straight up.
Come on. There we go. Whatever. Tailoring tools, huh? Sewing needle. Okay, oh, can we make ourselves new outfits? That would be nice. Man, I'm salty right now. Very, very salty. There's under no circumstances should I have died to that guy, but whatever. If I'm, you know, if I'm being fair, I did die to the covetous demon once in Dark Souls 2. If you're not familiar with that, look it up. Suffice it to say, it's not a thing that you should die to. <laughs> uh, bro. Alright. Look, we're not the Elden Lord yet. So, I guess there's there's some grace there. I mean, there's literally something called grace, right? I mean, that's literally sites of grace. So maybe, maybe the lesson is we should go show grace to ourselves. You know? When you really think about it. Maybe the true grace was the grace we graced along the way. Oh, I wonder if there's multiple ways to get in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we, we could have discovered this from a couple different uh, angles. Makes sense. Let's go and let our friend know that he has no cause for concern anymore. Well, I mean, it's a very cruel world, so maybe he does have cause for concern generally, but not from this uh, this specific cave now. So they were called demi-humans, uh, which I'm very interested to, to know. Obviously, the, um, the order of things here is a little different than in Dark Souls, right? It's not undead in general. There's... They seem to be actual living beings for the most part, but... Oh. What are you doing here? I saved you. Oh. No, I say, uh, give sewing needle? Oh. I mean, I didn't know it was yours. Sure. Wait. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> what made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress, and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. Oh. I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Oh, this guy is too nice. Oh, I suppose I. I can't just curl up and die, can I? So, what do you want to do now? Thank you. You're very kind. I wonder if we could invite him to... to be a seamster like, like my mum. If we could invite him to I round table I... hold. Thank you. Okay, maybe... Want... Maybe we'll, we'll meet him on the road or something. That's what I'm wondering, is like, now that we have a place to send people... Oh, now we can alter garments. Oh. So, what is altered about them? Um. Oh, perfumers... Okay. So you could purchase this, perfumers traveling garb. I'm confused about how... So this is what he's wearing now, right? Or I can purchase this from him? I'm so confused. Well, at least we have... We know where it is in the future. Um, we need 3,000 souls to level up. Uh, what do we have in our inventory right now? We have... Four... Uh, 1,800. Another 1,800. That might actually get us kind of close. 1,800... We probably have about 2,000 right now. Let's let's get a f tad more. Oh, he's gone now. More power to him. Uh, let's continue our exploration of... 
this island over there. Find a safe passage to cross. Ooh, actually, first, let's clear out. Oh. Oh, never mind. I was going to say clear out this encampment, but no, it's uh, it's another uh, traveler. Oh, are you related to the Santa Claus guy? Uh, what's his name? Kara? What do you need? I don't want any trouble. Nomadic merchant. Okay. Oh, what do we have? Armorer's cookbook. We can do firebone arrows, bolts, neutralizing boluses, short bow, uh, land squirts. I don't know what that is. Stone digger trolls, neutralizing bull. Alevius. Oh, I see, I see. So, oh, and then you could buy smithing stones. Okay, so change of plans. We're gonna we're buying everything. Buying that. Buying that. We're buying that. Uh, I would buy more smithing stones if I had the cash. So we'll come back here once we get more. Well done. Well. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So, what do I do with that information that I just purchased? Uh, or, or where can I access it? Let's see here. So there's the, yeah, the, the cookbook will prop is just automatically added, right? But... Where's the information on... Trolls and... What was it? Squirts? Land squirts. Land squirts are soft where they touch the ground, and poison will cause them to rupture. I don't know what a land squirt is. Maybe it's those weird tentacle things that we've seen on the shore, I guess? I don't know. The heads of the stone digger trolls bear old wounds. How does that help me? <laughs> I mean, I, know, we, I fought a stone digger troll already, so it was basically said if I... Was that implying that if I were to have like, shot an arrow at the at the head of the troll that it would have gone... That, that was its weak point or something? I mean, I guess. Is there anything up here? Oh, that's where I just was. I just made a big circle. Alright, so let's figure out how we get across the water. Let's go really carefully. I don't want to fall off the edge of anything. Don't have the right. You don't have the right. Uh, yeah, apparently not. Try cave. Yeah, I, I tried the cave. Is there really no way to get over there? I'm going to follow along this shoreline. Yeah, I, I already sought the cave. Huh. That's kind of confusing. Alright, well, apparently I'm not getting over there. I mean, unless the, unless I took a wrong turn somewhere and there was like a little secret passage that would take me across, like underneath the water and it would take me across somehow, but I sure didn't see anything like that. Gold Pickled Foul Foot. Alright. Torrent. Sorry. It's not cutting it. Okay, so I have just to, to defeat these guys twice, right? There we go. Yeah, apparently. So these are kind of like Dark Souls 1? Human Bone Shard, it says. Dark Souls 1 skeletons, right? You just have to ki kill them a few times. I remember my time in the catacombs. Anything behind this waterfall? Oh, hello, little guy. What's up with you? Alright, I don't think there's anything else over here of interest, surprisingly. Uh, let's go ahead and summon Torrent. Maybe we'll try out this whole... Spirit column thing. Whoa. 
Okay, now what? Oh no, where? Uh, that does not good. Okay. <laughs> How did that help me exactly? Where was I supposed to go from that? I'm a little confused. Maybe that's just how you're supposed to get down to the beach and it was not intended for you to go up? I don't know. Oh, wait. Uh. Maybe, maybe I'm, I'm misunderstanding the situation. So maybe when we ran through the boss room, that actually... Oh, I see now, I think. I wasn't... I didn't realize exactly what I was looking at when I oh, came out the other entrance. But now I think I'm starting to understand. So this, this is actually getting us across the river, right? Okay. That makes more sense now. Okay. Seems obvious in retrospect, but whatever. Which way is out of here? There's two more of you guys in here. You know. Ooh, glass shard. So now, yeah, now we're on the other side of the shore. Okay. Took me a second to understand the situation, but I got there. I got there in the end. Alright, what have we got here? I hope there's a side of grace. Um, it would be a pain to have to go through all of that again. Oh, there is a side of grace. Good for me. Alright, let's rest here for sure. Didn't expect dragon. All the more, could this be a lovable sort? Oh, I don't know. Could it? Church of Dragon Communion. Huh. Could this be a dog? <laughs> I don't know, could it? Examine altar. Ritual of Dragon Communion. Oh. There's different stuff you can... So you can offer a dragon heart and get dragon fire. Transform caster into the dragon to spew flaming breath. Um, this allows you to, to tear through foes with a dragon claw. And this allows you to bite. So this is kind of like the uh, the dragon armor or the the dragon torso stone, etc., from uh, Dark Souls Three, right? I guess people really enjoy uh, dressing up as dragons in uh, in these games, huh? Not a whole lot of stuff over here for me to pick up, is there? There we go. Mushroom. Totally worth it. Okay. Well, surely there's... other stuff around here as well, right? Ooh, a dragon... Great dragonfly head. Four great dragonfly heads. Yeah, quite beautiful. I wonder, is there any way for us to get out to those shipwrecks over there? Or is that just, uh, cosmetic only? Ok, 
Okay, a little golden rune, sure. Ooh, a little crystal, be wary of item. Can I sneak up on it? There we go. Somber smithing stone. I'm sure that will be helpful. What else is there around here? Anything? Be wary of ill-omened creature. Okay. I guess there's some odds and ends around here. Another golden rune. Maybe that, that'll give us a, a little bit of material to go back to um, the merchant fella. And uh, purchase some stuff from him. Well, now that we have a side of grace, we can fast travel, which is nice. I'm just going to poke my head around uh, in front of the island real quick. if there's anything here on this side. Oh, there is. Alright, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we're pretty much good to go. Check on this side of the island real quick. Oh, anything down there? Alright, I guess that's it. So, let's... Now, here's a thought. Let's go check in with... Um, Vara. We, we talked to him briefly when we first exited the tomb, but now that we are no longer maidenless, I just kind of want to rub it in his face, you know? Oh, well done. Well done indeed. You made it through that entire mess all the way to Stormvale. And off you trotted to the round table hold. My sincerest congratulations. Feel that sincere. How did you find the round table? Oh, you don't have to say it. You guess what? I am made in full. The round table was chock full of venerated warriors. But now it's home to puff chests and has beans. I fear you've been terribly disappointed. I don't blame you. But still, the round table has its perks. Why not earn a seat? Fly straight and true, so to speak. Uh, sure. I'm highly suspicious of what you have to offer, but I'll, I'll hear you out. Ah, then you're interested. A wise choice indeed. To join the round table proper, you must acquire a great room and request audience with the two fingers in the inner chamber. They are the purported masters of the grace that guides your kind, the tarnished. Hmm. Yes. Pay them a visit, so that you may see for yourself. Okay, so acquire a great rune. So, from what people were saying, that comes from beating, like, major bosses, right? So I'll need to go into the castle and beat whoever's in there. I assume. Godric the Grafted, oh, there Lord we go. <laughs> Confirmed. A great room. Godric the Grafted. Be, but a demigod he remains. 
and of course, an inheritor of a great room. Worse yet, I hear old Godric's acquired a ferocious new toy to graft. So, prepare for the worst. Oh, trust me, I always do. What's the matter? Aren't you supposed to be earned and you must fail for without a okay. the Yep, yeah, I'm okay, whatever. Uh look and here's something else I wanted to do. So now we've checked in with him. Let's uh challenge this guy. We kind of we kind of dodged him in our early uh early goings. I don't know how strong we are relative to him at this point. But Oh, he's an actual boss. Oh. He is, um, robust. Oh, yikes. Okay, well... I regret this. <laughs> oh, where am I? Oh. I must have been hitting his shield before. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, that's not cool. That's not cool at all. I feel like we can beat him, though. I, I think I was... I was. Uh, I must have just been attacking his shield directly at first. So the trick is going to be to circle around. I know I could get on Torrent and... Um, and face him that way. But I prefer this. Uh oh. Look, we beat what's his name? The the dog knight. So I feel good about this. Oh no, come on horse. I've got no quarrel with you. Only with your master. Oh, nicely done. I wonder is there a way to unseat him? Okay, bad time to heal. Oh, good job, horse. Yeah, the horse got me. He got... He done got me. <sighs> I mean, let's... I guess we'll try it with Torrent, just for the fun of it. I'm not sure... I don't know if we're going to be putting out enough damage on horseback to make this work. We certainly can dodge easier. This is going to be a real death by a thousand cuts situation. Come on. Hard to find the openings. All right, hang in there, Torrent. Oh, come on. Double come on. Uh-oh. 
Come on, Torrent, hang in there. Oh no! I'm stuck in a tree! Maybe I can get him to be stuck in a tree. This is a pretty cool battle, though, I have to say. Wow, that's unfair that he can hit anything he wants on horseback, and I've got to miss, like, most of my shots. Ah... <sighs> I know Torrent's not feeling great right now. Woo! Now that was a that was a jump dodge. I love that. Okay, I'm kind of warming up to this. The idea of doing this on horseback. No, okay. Well, we got him down to half. We got him down to half. And uh, do we have more berries for Torrent? Yeah, we sure do. Let's make a few more of those. And if they're in our pouch. So we have 17 of them. Uh, anything else interesting that we could craft? Not at the moment. Alright, let's do this thing. Let's have him come over here out in the more open area. Oh, well that sucks. Okay, that one didn't count. <laughs> that doesn't count. It's almost a little bit like dog fighting in a way, like by the most advantageous position is on his six o'clock, you know? Like if I can just stay behind him and just harass him like that. Woo! Uh oh, I'm out of stamina. Let's recover a little bit. Uh-oh. Hang in there, Torrent. What? How did that hit me? Uh-oh. Heal Torrent a little bit. No, come on, man. Are you kidding me? What? How was he hitting me from that far? Oh my gosh. All right, clearly I've got some depth perception issues that I'm not understanding how this is working. 
<laughs> That's actually pretty funny. RIP to the wildlife. Come on. No. Okay, yeah, there was some BSery there in the middle that I don't quite understand. We got out out of our um out of our circling habit a little bit. It just takes forever, man. Oh, yeah, resummon. Yes. here, out in this open area. I don't love all these rocks and stuff kind of getting in the way. How did he hit me there? Where is he? Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Come on. back. <sighs> Alright, let's take this out of here. This is so frustrating doing it on this rocky area. Let's, let's come to this grassy field. Lots of open space. What? How did you possibly hit me? Oh my gosh. This is... Oh, and of course the, the default selection is no. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, hey, that was actually the farthest we've gotten so far, I think. Okay, the horse hip check I have to watch out for. Ah, the horse stepped on me. I hate when that happens. Uh-oh, where am I? Ah, uh, a little bit of terrain weirdness there, but that was pretty close, over, over halfway. No! No, how did you... Ah, uh, didn't get a chance to dodge in between. No. 
No. No! Ah, uh, we have the template there. Just a couple dumb mistakes from me. Nicely done. Good for you. That's not good. Oh no, you're kidding me. Oh, that hurts my soul deep down inside me. Are you kidding me? I am so done with that shield attack. supposed to do.
Oh my... Get in there, get in there, get in there one more. We got him, we got him, ladies and gentlemen. Ho oh. ho. And a golden halberd to boot. Whoa. Okay, so here's the thing. You're probably telling me in the in the comments, come on, man. This was clearly meant to be a mounted battle. You know, Torrent could have helped you out. You could have saved yourself a little bit of heartache. Friends. There's the, there's the easy way, and then there's the Odyssey way. And well, that's what we have all been witness here today. <laughs> I don't know. I guess after a certain point, it just feels like a matter of pride, you know? I don't know. Maybe I need an attitude adjustment. But I was like, I can take this guy on foot. And like, Torrent is great. Don't get me wrong. But like the precision to go like mounted versus mounted doesn't feel amazing um i also know i was i'm probably i was probably way under leveled for what was meant to occur here but you know what that's fine this was a learning experience um i think we we've earned a little bit of a tasty level up what do you say oh look at that perfect uh what should we take here why don't we grab why don't we grab a little dexterity to celebrate? You know, just a little treat for us. Just for ourselves. A little, little damage uh, buff. And then... Man, it is going to be weird not seeing this guy uh, patrolling this area anymore. But you know what? Good riddance. He's had it too good for too long. And it's about time that, uh, you know, the Chosen Tarnished came in. And, and uh, I guess you could say that the Lands Between is under new management. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's take a look at our map before we say farewell to each other. I think we've explored most of what there is to see here in, uh, in Limgrave. So I suppose next time we're, we'll go ahead and poke our head through uh, the gate front itself. And, and, and I don't know. Uh, I guess there's a little bit of uh, land to take a look at before Castle Stormvale itself, but 
Uh, it's about time we go through the gate and see what's what. I think we're, we're leveled up enough. I feel pretty confident about it. Uh, and I hope you're excited, because I certainly am. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.